I love being a mother, but I absolutely hate motherhood and what we as a society have created motherhood to be because I feel like it's ruined my life. This particular TikToker that you've just seen goes by the name of Aphrodite's underscore H-A-U-S. I don't know if she pronounces that house. I don't know how she says it, but she has over 3,000 followers and she's a self-proclaimed Afro womanist. But besides being an Afro womanist and might I add, uh, pretty, pretty beautiful in my honest opinion, she is a single mother, all right? That's very common in the United States, definitely common in the black community. But she hates motherhood. Loves being a mom, hates being a mom. I don't wanna waste her time, guys. I wanna play the entire clip of her discussing why she hates motherhood and who she blames for her hating motherhood. I love being a mother, but I absolutely hate motherhood and what we as a society have created motherhood to be because I feel like it's ruined my life hard reality oh my god how could you say that how could you hate motherhood I fucking hate motherhood I hate everything about it because no one tells you half the fucking shit that like you're just supposed to be born figuring it out as a mother you get no grace men get all the grace men get to be like babies if they want to it's just all like the whole concept what are you looking at it's like the whole entire concept of it was clearly created to benefit men um and that's why they feel like majority of it is just on you um i fucking hate it i hate that i had to change my entire life i had to give up every single thing sacrifice all these things and it was just expected of me because i'm the mom um i'm the woman right and men barely have to change any fucking thing um and when they do bare minimum it's rewarded and then meanwhile we constantly are bombarded with judgment at all times for every single thing that we do we can't even take a break for ourselves i can't go anywhere without being asked where's the baby where's it like i'm the only person who made the baby yet he can go anywhere he wants to do like just do anything and no one ever was where's the baby, where's the baby? like because men aren't like the babies aren't considered like a part of them now for some reason it's just like they can just do whatever I hate how no one taught us about breastfeeding and I had the hardest time breastfeeding and now like I have this really clingy kid who won't let go of me and I can't really do much because she's super on top of me and weaning is really hard and I don't really have a support system because there's no villages for real. No one cares about mothers. When they come visit, they go straight for the baby. Nobody cares about you. And it's evident that nobody cares about you. Like, people don't even like you, but they like your kid. It's just super weird. I literally hate it so much. You're super limited with what work you can do. Um, I've been working remote at home, and it sucks. Like, I'm forced to get these, like, remote jobs that I don't even like um, because finding childcare here has just been really fucking difficult and the wait list has been crazy and so it's put me in a position to just always be a fucking stay-at-home mom while i'm working and i'm burnt out and i just fucking hate this entire thing like love my daughter love being with her but motherhood fucking hate it i'm never having any more kids that's just it we're gonna be best friends i'm gonna pour all my love everything into her but will i ever repeat this shit fuck no so guys you heard what she had to say. Now, it's it's interesting because I tried to look up what the word womanist is. Stop the show, Dima, give me some typing sounds. And so I'm, I'm trying to figure out what a womanist is. And there is a pretty interesting um, definition. So a womanist, according to thoughtsco.com, is a womanist is a black feminist or feminist of color who opposes sexism in the black community and racism throughout the feminist community, all right? And what are some of the characteristics of a womanist? Self-naming, self-definition, family-centeredness, wholeness, role flexibility, adaptability, authenticity, black female sisterhood, struggling with males against oppression, and all those kind of things. That, that, that is womanist behavior. But as it turns out, 
seems like uh, Sister Girl isn't getting much support from her womanist community with her lovely young daughter. And of course, black men are to blame. She makes some interesting claims that, you know, pretty much motherhood benefits men. And, um, you know, the fact that uh, the woman is always taking care of the child and the father can go about his life and the child is not attached to the father. Um, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like also that she doesn't have any support system, that nobody cares about her, that she is pretty much burnt out. But then I, I go back to this sort of womanist, um, some of these ideologies here, and I don't think that the term womanist means that you hate men or that you hate black men, but it appears that this is the choice that you made for yourself when you pick to be a womanist and a feminist, in my honest opinion. And then the situation in the room, the elephant in the room, young lady, is where is the child's father and why did you want to have a child by a man that you didn't want to be married to? Oh, was that against the womanist theory? Like, these are some of the things that I understand a lot of these black women are saying that they're feminists and a lot of these black women are saying that they're womanists, but these black women want help. You know, a lot of times women say and what they do are different things. These women are really tired of being strong black women without the help of men, no matter what they say. These women want to be in communities. They want males to lead them in communities, although they sign up for the womanist stuff. Cause let me tell you something about black feminists and womanists. When it comes time for you to get some help, you can't get it from them. Black feminists or womanists, in my honest opinion, as beneficial as they may be to some people, they're not gonna build communities for you or save. They're not gonna build businesses for you. They're not gonna do any of those things. And I can tell you that for a fact. Um, let me just share this with you. I have somebody that I, I really do care about in my life. Uh, that person is not like my girlfriend or anything like that, but she wanted to go to, um, and, and it's not, it's like a, um, you know, a big brother uh, type of father daughter relationship. She wanted to go to a female convention, which I gladly paid. It was a woman's empowerment thing. And um, she went, she put on some heels or some heel sandals. You know how women are always putting on sandals and stuff. So she went there, they ate pork and all kind of stuff. They exchanged business cards. And um, she was really excited about getting a part of this community until she found out that, you know, those communities don't really, they don't really do a whole lot for ladies. They take your money and say, hey, welcome to the club and all that. But as far as who's gonna be there dealing with you every day, putting you into communities, building the businesses around you, um, making sure that you're safe. That's what men do. Groups of men go out there and do that. That's what men do, okay? Men are typically responsible for that. And a lot of times women want that protection, but you don't want to really be a part of what it requires for you to be that sort of lady. And then when you go out there by yourself, you figure out how hard it is. Yeah, it's hella hard being a mom. I know that it is tough being a mom. Yeah, you have to put on, and, and nobody cares that you have taught you have issues because they have issues. Nobody cares you need a break. Nobody cares that they even like you and they want like as she said, they care about the daughter, not about her. I understand that. But that's called being a womanist. It's called being an adult. And when you choose these things for yourself, you can't get mad. Just like being a business owner. You know, nobody cares about how you feel as an owner. People just care about what they can get. It's all they care about is how it benefits them. And I do understand that we have a lot of sisters out here in the black community that are, that are going through things like this. And my heart goes out to you because some people, their mom grew up like that. They didn't know. And I get it. But here is what I want to say. This is exactly what I want to say. You know, women got to understand that everything in life is a team effort. Men got to understand that too, not just women, but it's a team effort. You need a lot of skills that women need and you need what men meet to make a community. A lot of these ladies want to go out there and you want to get out there by yourself and do stuff, fine. But just don't, don't get upset when it doesn't work out for you. Don't get mad when it doesn't turn out the way you want it. Don't be pissed off, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. Don't be upset when it doesn't turn out the way that you want because it probably won't turn out the way that you want. And you can get mad if you want. It's completely up to you, completely up to you. But don't be upset, be an adult, all right? And if you want to not be like this young lady, 
Um, and I've seen many videos of sisters crying. Let me just say this. Um, I think that's very sad when you see black women that are crying and stuff like that because they're, they're struggling. And I get it. But understand that it's a to be a parent, it's not about you wanting to have a baby. It's about the child. It's about the family. And you cannot be the family if you're not interested in being a wife. Being a wife. Being a wife is important. Being a man is a sacrifice. Men build for women. It's a sacrifice. People don't know it. It's the truth. It's a sacrifice. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're out.